Welcome to Application, the Typo 3 Community Podcast. One, two, one, two! I'm Jeffrey A. McGuire. A lot of people call me Jam. And this is where we celebrate the Typo 3 community, sharing your stories, talking about your projects, and the difference you make in, around, and with Typo 3 CMS. I mean, Typo 3, it's not only be- because of the, the the technical reasons and the tool, but uh, also um, the community. As we meet that community, I'll be looking for insights we can learn from. Comes to your perspective on how you see things, because... Sure. Uh, I'm one kind of person, I learn in one way, you are a different kind of person, you probably learn in a different way. I love seeing that people are motivated by what I am doing and what the marketing team, for example, is doing, because I get lots of good feedback and that motivates me to do better and then that's like a cycle that repeats. I'll be asking about my guests' origin stories. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's a good question. So, um, I turned my hobby into a profession. That's why I started my own company. I like yeah. coding. Yeah. Um, of course, I have a lot of, or a few other hobbies, <laughs> um, but Typo 3 is fun for me, and that's why I do it, and not because I work somewhere and get money. We'll talk clients, projects, and successes. The biggest uh, project I've done so far was the Sony uh, Places and Network. Mm-hmm. It's not that small. <laughs> that was a setup with, I think, around 99 languages. Wow, nice. Application is conversations connecting developers, marketers, consultants, integrators, designers, and end users with each other and the value we all deliver. So what's the coolest thing you've ever done with Typo3 so far? The coolest thing is Mm -hmm. probably we did a completely new site for an existing customer, which they had a Typo3 installation before, which was based on, I think, 7.6. We were actually able to convince them to start fresh and we did a completely new concept and completely built the whole customer management structure new so that was really cool oh meet the humans behind the technology on application the typo 3 community podcast don't forget to like and subscribe coming to a podcast app near you here's a little something that might not make it into another episode Typo3 project lead Benny Mack and I ended up talking about how it is to work during a pandemic and how that might be better or worse than it used to be. Benny Mack. Yes. Um, this conversation um, is taking place in later 2020. And um, as we can tell from your home level um, beard and home office and um, and kids craft room and the fact that I haven't had a haircut since um, February, but um, yeah, um, how's your year been? Well, um, I was actually, well, of course the year started completely different in January, February than it turned out to be in March and April. So I had to get used to having a lots of kids around. I have three and um, that's been quite good. But at the same time, um, I felt like a little bit of demotivation during the summer uh, in terms of like coding and the future and where everything's going, not just with Typo 3, but, you know, uh, for myself. But that actually um, got better. So um, right now, <clears throat> as of November 2020, I would say uh, it's it's a really different, but also a good year for myself uh, because I'm, I'm still healthy. We'll see in two weeks. <laughs> yeah, but, well, <laughs> yeah, but but yeah, from from that point of view, that's that's quite good and but different, and that's sometimes a, a good thing. That um, even though you think it's um, it's not as you planned, it's still a good thing that things moved a different route. So I like that. I guess we're getting a gigantic dose of perspective this year as well. Yeah. Um, so now, just between you and me, would you rather have the three kids running around and doing crafts behind you, or your twenty-five colleagues uh, running around and doing crafts around you in the office? <laughs> 
Well, if the 25 uh, colleagues would do crafts, I, I don't know if I'd, I would like that. <laughs> but um, the three kids are really great. So it's not bothering me at all. Achim would come to you. Benny, can you help yes. me cut this out? <laughs> yes. And I have these great headphones. Where's the, the blue noise... crayon? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the noise canceling headphones. I put them on and it's like, I don't want to hear anything. Uh, <laughs> Shutting myself out. The... um. The head of, what was it at the time? Um, DevOps kind of didn't exist. Um, the head of infrastructure at a company I worked at, um, it was one of those horrible group offices that I don't like much with a bunch of people in the same room. And so the it was funny because it was like a very large L shape and the main entrance was at the end of the long end. And so that's where the reception area was and the the, and the like the plants and where you brought clients for meetings and stuff. And then all the way down, you had sort of like HR and finance, and then you had project management. And then you sort of had, um, you know, marketing and uh, uh, sales was uh, in there. And then you go around the corner and there are the developers. And then behind the developers with an extra high cubicle wall was like the, the operations and the sysadmin guys. <laughs> and like at the developer area, there started to be posters and Legos and stuff. And basically by the time you got all the way to the back of the back of the room there were like permanently mounted nerf guns and you know large large dinosaurs and stuff and anyway one <laughs> one of the guys of course to cope with being in a group office he wore super super sophisticated noise canceling headphones but his boss who was the 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 vp of engineering i guess uh, could never get his attention um and we didn't have slack at that point what did you know, there wasn't a company internal chat. Um, so anyway, the VP of engineering had Nerf darts that said, Michael, turn around. Michael, look <laughs> at me. <laughs> he, would, he would shoot him until, <laughs> until they like she, brought him out of his flow. And <laughs> that's my wife is doing this. She's like, She's, nice. she's working with the lights because nice. uh, that's how I, she gets my attention. So for those of you, on. for those of you listening to the audio, the, the, the visual to that was the lights going on and off in, in, in Benny's room. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the Typo 3 Association for sponsoring this podcast. Thank you B13 and Stephanie Kreutzer for our logo. Shout out to the fabulous Patrick Gaumont, Typo 3 developer and musician extraordinaire for the studio demo rough cut of our theme music. And thanks to the people and voices you heard today. Conversations with Raquel Foucault, Louisa Fassbender, Thomas Nora, Benny Mack, and many others will be in your feed in the coming months. If you subscribe. Do 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 do